Hey guys, as promised, I am gonna be doing a wear test of two foundations today. I'm gonna to apply one to one half of my face and the other one to the other half of my face. I'm going out later today, hopefully it doesn't look too weird. But anyway, we are gonna be playing around with the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass and the Tante Idol Ultra Wear Karen Glow from Lancome. Both of these foundations are new. They both have very similar claims, so I thought that this would be like a good video to make. Um, I put out a poll on my YouTube community tab asking you guys which one you were more interested in. Uh, the Hourglass won out, but not by too much. So that's why I thought this video was probably uh, a good idea. Anyway, um, I wanna mention a couple things before we get started. One, this is not gonna be a first impressions video because I have worn both of these uh, a few times, at least at this point. The Long Home, I have worn uh, a lot, actually. Um, this was sent to me from Lancome. Hourglass was purchased by myself at Sephora. Um, and also, full disclosure, I did a sponsored Instagram Reels and an Instagram Stories with Lancome for this foundation. However, this video is not sponsored. I just want to make that clear. Uh, but they did send this to me. So we are going to be... <laughs> using the Sonia G Jumbo Base brushes. Um, I have one in her original version, one in her mini Kayaki set. I thought that would be the best test, use the same uh, brush for both foundations. And it is very early right now. We are going to be attempting a 12 hour wear test for both of these. Um, and I'll do like a check-in and point out anything that I may notice throughout the day. And then give you my thoughts at the end of the day. Again, this is not a uh, first impression, so I'll kind of be giving you my thoughts as I'm applying it and everything. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the Hourglass. So again, this is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, brand new. I have it in the shade number three. And this has um, a glass bottle, a pump top dispenser, and it has a really nice uh, creamy texture. You can see that on the back of my hand. It doesn't really run down my hand, so it's not uh, like a thin serum-like foundation or anything like that. I just pumped out one pump. And when I used this in my uh, last Try New Makeup video, uh, which hopefully you will have seen yesterday, I basically used like one, it was like the first pump, so it was kind of like half a pump, and then I pumped another one. So it was kind of like one full pump. Anyway, I used one full pump all over my face. That was good enough. So I don't suspect I'm gonna be using all of this foundation. So I'm gonna be applying the Hourglass onto the right side of my face. I'm gonna keep saying that, otherwise I'm gonna forget. I'll probably write it down uh, once I stop filming this portion. But the hourglass is on the right. Hourglass on the right, okay. <laughs> All right, so I picked up some on the brush and I'm gonna start on my cheeks here and blend out. Get it around my nose. And then get some on my forehead here. Okay, so there is the Hourglass applied, and I think this shade absolutely works for me. It has the slightest bit of like a yellow undertone, which is okay. I much prefer like a neutral sort of foundation. Um, so if a foundation is just a little bit yellow, pink or peach, it, it usually works. It's just if it goes a little overboard. This is fine. And if you uh, use me as like a shade comparison, I think three would work for you. This will definitely work for me in the fall winter because I do think it's a, like a spot on match for my neck, pretty much. Um, so that is the shade. The finish is really lovely. I think you can see just a little bit of kind of soft radiance there. I just have like my normal skincare down. Um, I have SPF down um, as like my last layer of uh, skincare. And you know, SPF is always like a, a, like extra moisturizing. So that is what I have down on my face, just FYI. I have a very dry skin. I am 48, will be 49 in a couple of months. Um, and so I have, you know, mature skin concerns. So this foundation uh, claims to have medium coverage, but I feel like you can really sheer it out if you want. I feel like I've achieved like a light medium coverage. Um, and out of that one pump, you can see I didn't use all of it. So just 
a light kind of coverage. Obviously your tool will make a difference. If you use your fingers, I think you'll have a fuller coverage application. But with a brush, I think you can really kind of shear it out if you want. So this light medium coverage is definitely more my preference. You can definitely uh, build it up to a medium. So that is the hourglass. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the Lancome. So again, this is the Taunty Doll uh, Ultra Wear Care and Glow SPF 27 foundation, and I have it in the shade 105 W. And uh, on, I know on the Lancome site they have like um, like a shade chart basically. So if you're a big fan of their original um, Taunty Doll foundation. Uh, if you look up your shade, what you use in that foundation, it'll tell you basically what to get for this. So that's how I picked out this shade. I basically use that chart. So let's go ahead and shake this up. And I'm going to apply this to the left side of my face. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pump out one pump. And the texture of both of these foundations are similar. The Lancome is just a teensy bit thinner, if you will. But you can see they both have like a lotiony, creamy kind of texture. One is not much thicker or thinner than the other. So I'm gonna go ahead, use my jumbo base brush from Sonia G. Do the same thing, apply here. And this 105 W shade is a really, really good match for me because it does have a very neutral undertone. So right off the bat, what I will say is the coverage for the Lancome is a little bit higher than fuller than the hourglass. Even when I shear it out, you can probably see it on my lips. Even when I shear it out, I have, I just have more coverage. So it is more pigmented than the hourglass, but it is like a nice medium. You know, I don't feel like it's a very full coverage foundation, which is great. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Okay, so there is the Lancome. The finish for the Lancome uh, there is, you can see, there's like a nice, like very subtle natural glow, but there is a little bit more to the hourglass. I mean, just a tiny bit more. You can maybe see it right here. So here is the hourglass. You can see that little bit of shine. And here's the long comb where we have a nice kind of like satin finish, but it's not quite as glowy as the hourglass. So, so far what I will say is the Long Home has a teensy bit more coverage than the Hourglass, and the Long Home is also a teensy bit um, matter in its finish versus the Hourglass. It's not matte, but it is matter than the Hourglass. So I'm just gonna make sure it's applied on my nose properly because I kind of stopped in the middle, but that's kind of silly. So I'm just gonna make sure I have the Long Home here kind of blend it in and then the hourglass kind of blend it in here. Okay. All right. So both are applied. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom into my forehead here and we'll just work our way down. And both of these foundations are very, very lovely. I just think that they look really beautiful on the skin. I don't think that either looks cakey. I don't think either sinks into my fine lines around my eyes. I think they both wear pretty well around my nose. We'll definitely do some check-ins so you can see that. I'm actually sweating right now because it's just so hot out. Um, so the tip of my nose is actually a little bit damp and both actually applied on top of that pretty nicely. And neither looks you know, cakey or too thick or too makeup-y, both go on really, really seamlessly. So what I'm gonna do for this wear test is I'm not gonna apply any powder or concealer. Um, I may want to apply some powder a little bit later on, but I wanna see how these foundations wear without powder. I have dry skin, so I've gotten to that point where I don't wanna powder unless I have to, or unless I'm going for like a matter aesthetic or anything. But just for like the everyday, if I don't have to powder, I kind of stay away from it, but um, I will if it starts to get a little bit too shiny. So for now, I'm not gonna powder. Uh, I'm not gonna put on concealer because I wanna see what this foundation does all by itself, especially around my eye area, you know, if it starts to crease or do anything funky. Um, but I am gonna put on some light makeup. So let me go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, wow, I have a pretty pink, <laughs> pinky makeup look on today. Uh, just to quickly share with you what I do have on. So again, no powder, no concealer. I did put on the RMS uh, Beauty Blush in 
French rosé. Where did it go? <laughs> it's just here. Here it is in French rosé. So I have a powder blush on. And then I thought, let me try the Victoria Beckham Reflect Highlight Stick in Pearl, like a cream product on top, just to kind of see like, is it gonna break up the foundation? I think it, I think everything is playing really nicely together. I don't see any sort of, uh, you know, like how liquid on top of liquid, sometimes it'll like remove it or start to do strange things. This actually layered on top really nicely. The foundation didn't budge underneath. Um, I do have my Dior brow gel on, and then I do have the Westman Atelier iPod in um, Bisou on my lids. So this is like a nice kind of pinky peach uh, satiny kind of shade. I think you can probably see that. And then the Hourglass Voyeur Waterproof Gel Liner in Cave. And then the Lancome Mascara, the Le Huit Hypnose Serum Infused Mascara. And then on my lips, I have the Armani Lip Power in 500. It's this really pretty pink. And then I layered the Silver Bullet by Poppy King. This one that changes... <laughs> colors that I was talking about in my trying new makeup video. Um, so I have that on top of the 500, which gave it that kind of silver sheen and also made it, uh, made the pink like a little bit, a little bit brighter. But this is a really fun like layering product as well. Um, okay, so it is, like I said, it's very early. Um, I think, sorry, I don't know where my phone is. I don't know what time it is, but I pretty much sat down at six o'clock, 6 a.m. So I'm gonna go about my day and let's go ahead and take a look at my first check-in here. Hey guys, it is about 12.30 and I was kind of waiting for <laughs> the skies to clear a little bit, but I think here in Vegas today, we're just having a little bit of a cloudy day. So the lighting, I'm, I'm standing in front of a big window. I wanted to give you some natural light uh, information here and do my check-in. Uh, with natural light. So anyway, it's going to be a little bit uh, cooler toned than usual because of uh, the cloudiness, but we're just checking on wear and I was just checking, checking myself out <laughs> in a mirror and these are both wearing really, really well. I think you can probably see, do you see the line there? <laughs> so again, this is the hourglass and then this is the Lancome. And I think I was telling you that I felt like the Hourglass, it's fine, it works, but it's a little bit on the lighter side from what I generally would go for. So I think you can see the Lancome. I really like the match of the Lancome. Do you see that? It's just a little bit, I feel like a little bit more natural looking on my face. Anyway, that's just like a great shade difference view right there. Yeah, right there on my forehead. Now, just to give you an idea of what I've been up to today. So um, it is, even though it's overcast, it's still about 100 degrees. It's just thankfully not like 110. But, you know, I put this on, I walked the dog, I, uh, you know, ran some errands or whatever. So I have been out and about and I do feel like, you know, my nose, my forehead has been a little bit sweaty. Um, but I feel like the foundation has stayed really well in those areas. The only area I feel like I see it wearing away a little bit is right here, and this is the long comb side. And yeah, it just, I feel like, you know, the long comb had more coverage, but I feel like the hourglass has actually done a better job there. I wonder if you can, I hope you can see it. In the viewfinder, I can see that this looks a little bit worn away right here. So that's pretty interesting. The long comb claims to have up to 24 hour wear. Um, hourglass is up to 16 hour wear. So I'm a little surprised. I thought if anything, it would have been reversed. But other than that, I mean, like I said, even around like the tip of my nose where foundation always wears away, no matter what, both of these have stayed put really nicely. Yeah, it's looking really good elsewhere. Now, again, I did not um, powder at all. And I'm really impressed. I'm impressed that like the glow for the hourglass hasn't gotten any worse. Uh, the Lancome, which kind of started out a little bit more matte than the hourglass, I feel like now it's looking like there's a little bit of a, like a satin finish there. But both foundations I think are looking really, really beautiful. Yeah, and I don't feel like I need to powder at all. So, here we are, what did I say? It was like, it's around 12.30, I put it on at six, so this is about a six and a half hour check-in. Not bad, right? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this foundation looks like after 12 hours of wear. 
Hello, it is 6 p.m. It's been a long day, a long day. Uh, but anyway, I am just sitting down here. I need to take a close look at what's going on here. Okay, now I think the, the hourglass has caught up to the long comb. I feel like I see wearing away of the foundation underneath my eyes. As for everywhere else, it looks pretty good. In fact, when I'm looking at both sides of my face, I mean, it kind of, aside from the shade, you know, that minor, very, very small shade difference, I feel like I'm just looking at the same, like I'm looking at the same foundation. They are very, very similar. When I'm taking a super, like super close, super anal <laughs> look at my face, I feel like I see a little bit of wearing away around my nose with the hourglass, like a little bit. The Lancome is still there, like like the minute I put it on, like that, it looks the same as when I put it on here. I'm gonna zoom in. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. Let me get away from the light actually. Um, it looks a little bit worn away here. I see a little bit more redness around my nostril versus this one, versus the Lancome side. That's like super nitpicky. It looks like the hourglass has, uh, let me think, eight, four, 32 shades. It's $58. I'm really getting to the nitty gritty now <laughs> to see if there's one that comes out the winner. Um, the Lancome is 47, so it's less expensive. And there are, let's see, eight, 24, 30, 30 shades. So fewer shades, a little bit less expensive. Um, SPF and then the hourglass has uh, is a little bit more expensive uh, $11 more expensive more shades no SPF but really like on my face I really cannot tell the difference either between the finish um, the wear they're like nearly identical it's actually pretty uh, pretty fascinating what I'm gonna do actually because I did not do this in the beginning is Smell this. So the Lancome has a, a fragrance. It just smells like, um, it doesn't smell floral, it just smells like kind of clean. But I know once I get this foundation on, I don't smell it. Okay, so that's the Lancome. And then the Hourglass, let's see. I don't smell anything, anything with the Hourglass. The Hourglass is also vegan and cruelty free. So I know that's important to many of you. Yeah, so those are all the differences that I can come up with, but in terms of actual wear, they're very similar. I really, there's no, there's really no differentiating between the two. So I think it really is gonna come down to preference uh, shade, uh, cost, uh, whether, you know, vegan and cruelty-free is, you know, important for you. You'll wanna go with the hourglass. Uh, but, you know, other than Lancome has a little bit of fragrance, I don't really smell anything with the hourglass. So I think it's going to come down to those little preferences, you know, just to see which one uh, you would prefer. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.